Okay guys, so for the last challenge, I brought in a hairstylist, a makeup artist, a stage coach. Of course we had Frankie the stylist there. And the girls have to learn how to walk and talk and dance and all of that like a baddie. What look are we going for? She said soft glam. A soft glam? Okay, so you're going soft glam? Is this your first time getting your makeup done? Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm excited. Girl, real baddie, huh? Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> not this her first time getting her makeup done. I was not expecting that, but I'm excited to see it. I'm going around checking on them, making sure their makeup looks good. Mind y'all, they can't see it. So it's me pumping them up, telling them how good they look. And I felt like that was the confirmation that they needed to be like, yeah, I'm that girl. But honestly and truly, Nay really shocked me. She's so beautiful. And she told me that that was her first time getting her makeup done. So that was amazing. Like for her to even take that step and do it, that was just beautiful. And I'm so proud of her. What look you going for, babe? We're going for a neutral glam. Okay. Real no soft beat. Uh huh. That's how you like your makeup? Mm hmm. Okay. Soft. I'm excited to see you have your face beat. Because I have this first yesterday. I saw you with a wig today. You do? I can't tell. I feel like you're more natural. Oh, well, I gotta see. I can't wait to see you at the end of this. Okay. <laughs> And y'all, look at Island girl. She get her hair done. How you feeling? Good. She's doing a good job so far. So, how you getting your hair? Um, more like, I, you know, I like the a lot of baby hair. Uh -huh. So, and um, probably straighten or curl. I don't know yet. Is it just some curly hair? I don't think it's for the straighten up. Let me, <laughs> y'all, right? we y'all, we just gonna have to wait and see the final outcome. I'm yeah. super excited. But not only do we have these girls doing this, come on, let's go to the back. I had to go see what the stagecoach had my girls doing. I walk back there, they have on heels, they're stretching. I know they were not expecting this. Some of the girls a little performance, how to stand, you know, stage present, you know, just because okay. I gotta rock the mic and hit the stage. Okay. I know a lot of performance, but this also can help you with body movement okay. and how to move anywhere, whether you're shooting YouTube on stage, podcasts, it's how you fix your posture so you won't be coming like this, look more like this, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, so I see they like have them. on heels. What is the benefits of having on heels? The heels is benefit because it's professional. Okay. So it's showing you how to walk, how to keep your balance, and how to okay. hold your center. Okay. Well, I'm gonna let y'all finish. This stuff. Yeah, he said a mouthful. He he knows his stuff. He didn't hesitate. He knows exactly what they're about to do. And I'm super excited to see the outcome of this. So y'all just sit back and relax and watch these girls work. Walk back. Let me see your legs. Your legs too long. Here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Let me see you walk by yourself. Give me some. Wait, what the hell? Give me something. Yes. Do you believe in that? Do you believe in that walk? Yeah. Let me see. Believe in it then. It's giving me a half a dream. Here we go. Do it one more time. Do it one more time for me. Here we go. Five, six, seven, be eight. Confident. Wow. You better be confident. You better walk. Girl, you better walk. You better walk. Here we go. Boom. You better walk. Put some legs forward. Yes, ma'am. There you go. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Here we go. Next. Five, six, seven, eight. Boom. Oh. 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 Yeah. Oh. 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 Show that one more time for the girls in the back. Do that one more time. All right. Let me get the next two ladies. You better hit it. Come on, Bob. You better hit it. Come on, Bob. Give me some Bob. Give me some Bob. Give me some Bob. Shake that Bob. There you go. Oh, get oh, kill him. Wow. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh, she gave a little extra. Oh, Janine, you see this? Hello. Ooh. Okay. Come on, man. Hey, ready, huh? It's giving me key shot for Billy. Let's go. <laughs> Girl, here we go. Here we go, body. Give me some. You 
You better walk. Ooh, come on, you better come. Ooh. Give me one more time, one more time. You better give me some more this time. Here we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Give me some. There you go, confidence is everything. Hold your pasta up. The titties still there, you ain't got to okay. touch. <laughs> they ain't going nowhere. Good, let me give yourself a round of applause. Here we go, come on back in this. Don't be scared, here we go. Y'all want to be baddies, here we go. Baddies ain't never scared. Five, six, seven, oh. Go, go. Whoa, 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 whoa. You gotta use the restroom? You started off so fast, slow down. <laughs> Now look at that camera and walk ahead. Here we go. Boom. Oh. Boom. Uh-uh. Oh. 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 Take it. Take that. Oh. Is that a 10 or a shot? Shot. She got to do it one more time for you. She got to do it one more time for you. One more time. You, you were trying to rest, you do it. You got to do it one more, one more time. One more time. Here we go. Here we go. Take your time. Okay. You, you don't got to just. <laughs> it's all about you right now. Don't look at the camera. Don't look at us. It's just you. In that mirror, in this room. You got it, okay? Okay. Go. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, yes. Ah, uh, control, yes. control. There you go. Yes. Ah, uh, give me some. Put the hand on the hip. Put both hands on the hip. Boom. Now walk. Keep them on the hip. Let's go. Oh. Now walk. Relax oh. the shoulder. Oh. Oh. Starting to mirror. Hello. Is that a T or a chop? She got beef with somebody up here. Bad. G. Real man. Yeah, who you man? Is. <laughs> it was a chop for me. I ain't gonna lie. It was a chop for me. So we're gonna show y'all again how to walk. Frankie, can you show them again girl, no, how the girl no, no, no. supposed to walk? Give them a nasty one, Give them a nasty one. Here we go, Frankie. Five, six, ooh. Kitty cat, kitty cat. Ooh. Frankie cat, cat, cat. Ooh. Kitty cat, Frankie cat. Ooh. Tap, 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 tap. Ooh. Kitty, 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 kitty. Ooh. Now y'all see that? Give me a little inspiration, Give me a little inspiration. Sister, come on, Kyle. Come on, come on. How do you Sister, come on, Kyle. Yeah, I want to see it. I want to see it. Let me see, Freddie. Come on, Freddie. Let Freddy. me see, Freddy. Come on, Freddie. Let me see, Freddie. 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 Come on, Freddie. Let me see, don't stop now. Oh, here we go. Go ahead. Oh, 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 oh. One more time. One more time. One more time. The same way you walk down there, walk the same way. Cause when you got down there, you was like, just keep it cute. Ready? <laughs> Five, six. Five, six, seven, eight. Walk, 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 relax. Relax, there you go. You oh, stop looking down. You got it, you a baby. Here we go. Boom. Yes. Boom. Yes. Get it. Rub it on that side. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, your twins coming out. Oh, come on. Oh, here we go. All right, now. Yes, all right, ladies. Y'all can all come out. Everybody can come out. And she pushed through and kept me going. Mike, I'm so proud of you. Even though your Yeah, you were trying to figure it out. Yeah, yeah. you did an extra oh, time. She still put it
how long they have. She's getting up in the spray room. None of this looks less than that. Oh, God. Oh, God. Girl, look at you. You look really pretty. You just waiting to see yourself, huh? Yeah, so the lashes coming into it. You never had on lashes? Yeah, you did. Yeah, I was looking at her. Alright, Iowan. How, how much longer she got? Right. You almost done? Yeah. You ready to go in the back and show you show us what you got back there? Yeah. So them girls back there, they 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 have it hard. <laughs> hey, I'm just saying y'all. Alright. How you feel? Like a baby. Hello. <laughs> Yeah, like this. This is the most I see you smell since we've been doing this. I ain't having no name good. Girl, you look. She looks too good. Oh, you do look different, girl. Girl, it's time to go back there and get that that other work. I'm ready. You ready? You look good, girl. Now you seeing yourself over there? No, I ain't looking. Yeah. Okay, I like it. Give me soft glam. Soft glam. Thank you. Hello. I love that. I love that for you guys. Y'all ready? Other y'all ready to get y'all makeup done? Yes. Cause y'all know y'all was mad at me yesterday. So y'all gonna be happy today? All right now. So here we go. So let's get this ball rolling, all right? So I want everybody to go start at this corner. We're going to walk from this corner, which is stage right, even though we face this way. This is stage right. Okay, everybody go to stage right. Fuck it, please. So we're going to start off with the basic yeah, walk because I don't want y'all to tense up. I don't need y'all walking like this. This is our Frankie walk. You know how I walk, bitch. <laughs> Yeah, I don't need y'all walking like this, all right? I need y'all walking. I need y'all walking. Yeah? I need you walking down. Yeah, boom. I need you to have confidence. Keep your eyes up, chest up, not out, shoulders down. Relax. Don't come in here giving me every scissor hands, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all need a little bit more inspiration walking? Y'all got it? Y'all got it? Frankie, give me a little inspiration. Let me see you twirl. Here we go. Oh. Da, 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 da. Give me some, Frankie. Da, 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 da. Oh, come on. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> come on, all right. So, we're going to start out with only three of y'all, so we're just going one by one, yeah? I'm going to walk with you the first time, then you're going to walk by yourself the second time. You ready? All right, here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Now, walk. 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 Wow, give me some sucking that stomach. Wow, here we go. Boom, here okay. we go. Great wow, makeup done. Come on. Wow, Hello. here we go. All right, here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Now, walk, walk, boom. Serve me something. Yeah, take it back. Oh. Boom. Oh. Yeah, give it to me. Yes, yeah. Damn. All right. Now do it by yourself this time. I want you to walk out with your hand on your hip like this. All right. And I want you to walk long, one foot in front of the other. Make sure it's crossing. Okay. Here we go. Five, six, seven. Walk. Long. Long. Yes. There you go. Yes. Good. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Boom. Yeah. 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 All right, so I'm back with you. You are the same back with the other two, so you already know what's going on, right? All right, here we go. You say you're a dancer, right? So I'm expecting to see a lot from you. You should never tell me you're a dancer. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, walk. 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 Here, hand on the heels. Now walk back with both hands on the heels. Walk back with both hands on the heels. Yeah. There you go. There you go. So now it's time for 
the judgment. I have all of my judges here. The guest judge is CEO of Nail Networks, Floyd. All right, we have finally made it to the last episode of Basic to Baddies. Over these few days, the girls have shown me a lot. We've cried together, we laughed, we played. Like, I feel like I really connected with them on another level. I'm so excited to hear how they feel, what they feel like they learned. And at the end of this, I will be picking the baddie that I felt like improved the most. I have some lovely judges here with me that will be judging the girls. We all had a chance to meet them. We all had a chance to hang with them and really get to know them, honestly. So I feel like it's only right that I let them help me judge their growth. So we're gonna start with Scooter. Hello, how y'all doing? My name is Scooter Boy, celebrity dancer and choreographer. Next, we have Floyd. What's up, y'all? My name is Floyd, timeless CEO of NED Networks. Next, we have Frankie. Next, we have Furley. What's up, y'all? It's Furley, the artist, the biggie. Yeah. Tonight, we will be judging the girls' growth. Y'all ready? Yes, yeah. sure, <sighs> It's been a wild couple of days. I'm not gonna even lie to you guys. You guys have watched the episode. You guys saw the real, the raw, the uncut versions of everybody. So I think it's time for the ladies to come on stage and, you know, let me see what they've learned. So the first lady we have is Iwin. How's everyone doing today? Hey, Iwin. Hi. Yeah, you're beautiful. How, how are you feeling? Good. How do you feel about the show? Um, the show ta taught me, you know, like a lot. Um, and from spending time, you know, with some of you guys, um, the little time that I did spend, spend with Curry, he taught me to, you know, live your life and just, you know, enjoy, have fun. You know, life is too short. Um, he taught me, um, about style and you know putting pieces together and you know what compliments what you know um you taught me just because you know your past don't determine your future uh you taught me how to be a boss on your own by yourself you know and um he taught me um how to pose you know for pictures and you know know my body angles and you know, and stuff like that. So I felt like the show kind of taught me a lot. I met a lot of ladies, different personalities. And, you know, I got into a, a few, you know, arguments and fights with them, but um, I just felt like it was a big lesson learned. And I thank you guys for the opportunity to have me here. And I'm just so grateful and thankful. So even though you had arguments, fights, and you know, disagreements with people. Do you feel like that hindered your growth in the house? No, or do you feel like not at all. It helped you. It actually helped me, to be honest, because, I mean, I just look at it as, you know, it's a shine to me that they hate them without even knowing me. So I just, I just call them my haters, basically. You have one slippers. Yes. Um, because I don't know who's going to try me or try to try me, so I kind of came prepared. You have on slippers? Yes. Bad slippers. Get off the stage. <laughs> I'm kidding. But I'm very proud of you, though. Thank you. Honestly, I am. Thank the you. The way that you kind of handled all of the situations that came. You really came, girl, but you always show gratitude from the time you walked through the door, and that is very appreciative. Thank so you. So thank you for that. Thank you. Well, from the first day that I met you, um, you always gave like real mature, real grown woman, you know. Um, I will say, you know, like the obstacles that you had to go through in the house, um, you were willing to get over. And I just, I, I saw like the girl being that, you know, like you've never been through those type of things before and you overcame. So I'm proud of you for that. Thank you. Um, 
I like that you're confident. You know, um, like Frankie said, the slippers really killing me because that's the only thing I'm looking at. Yeah. Presentation is everything. It's okay, my toes down. Yeah, but presentation is everything. That's so true. your presentation, first person they see, that's what they're gonna judge by. Yeah. I wouldn't advise you to know anything because just because of those hot slippers. Okay. But other than that, you're confident in everything working with you. I like that. Thank you. Oh, just my first day here, you know what I'm saying? And people see you before they hear you. you know yeah. What I mean? So I don't know what was going on, but just always make sure you're presentable. You yeah, know? for sure. Seems like you got a good spirit, but just make sure you're always presentable. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Iowan. Thank you. Next girl, can I please have Jennifer come to the stage? Woo! How are you feeling, Jennifer? I'm feeling good. I look good. So, what do you feel like you learned from the show? Well, what I did learn was you actually have to be ready at all times. And I'm used to examples like today with the photo shoot. Again, if I would have known I had a photo shoot, I would have brought better attire. But I look nice, but like I said, I should always come with my game. Like, so that's one thing I learned. I mean, that's what I learned. Frankie? Like, I love you down, girl, but I've been holding this. Your nails ain't been done this whole season. Yes, they was. Until last night. What happened? I had nails on yesterday. She did. Yes. Okay. Yeah, stop with me. Get them redone. I will. But I'm big. You yeah. know what? You didn't grow to be my favorite, but we bonded a little bit. You super yeah. cute. You chocolate. I love that. You know how to move. So, that's all. Yeah. I really like you. For the first time I met you. So, I think you're very awesome. Keep up the confidence. Keep moving like you're moving. Thank I you. really like you for real, for real. Keep it up. Your future part. Thank you. You think you should win this thing? Yes. Why? I think I should win because every challenge we did, I was putting my all in. Fitness today, I hurt myself. Um, we did a challenge selling objects. I won the most money. I mean, I've been putting my all into everything. So I really feel like I should win. Okay. LaPorche, can you come to the stage for me, please? Hi, you guys. I see you took those tips. You walk in here high, huh? Yeah. Yeah. How you feel? Good. <laughs> Why are you talking like that? I feel good. Okay. What is one struggle that you had coming into the house that you don't feel like you have anymore? Being around a lot of different girls. Um, I grew up with a lot of boys. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm not used to um, a lot of girls fighting, arguing. Mm -hmm. But I dealt with it. Mm -hmm. And stayed out of the way. It was being goofy. Girl. <laughs> when I first saw y'all, this hoe is so childish. <laughs> but it grew on me. It really did grow on me. Like, you're so sweet. Like, you've been my, honestly, I told them today, you've been my favorite since we started. Because, like, your aura is just so, like, girl, let's just move on. <laughs> and it's just so cute. It's admirable, almost. Thank you. So, thank you for that. Thank you. From the first day to now, I can see, like, the difference. From, yeah. So, I'm, I'm proud of it. From the hair to the makeup to the look, the wardrobe, it's everything. Thank you. Yes, I think she really took that stay ready so you don't have to get ready point. Because since the first day, I mean, the first day you guys had to get dressed in five minutes. But since that day, you made sure your hair was straight. You made sure your outfits were together. Like, you did not slack not one bit since that day. And I'm, I really am proud of that. Thank you. You're welcome. Remember, presentation is everything. Keep going. Do you should win this thing? I believe I should win. I Why? think I am going to win. Why do you think you should win? I have faith. Also, I mean, I just came. I did what I told Janelle, I mean, Janelle, what I wanted to do. 
I want to learn from her. She's strong. I believe I can go home. I ain't taking no shit from nobody. And she don't take nothing from nobody. I'm walking out stronger than what I was at first. Next, can we have Pluto come to the stage? Hey, Pluto. Hey, y'all. How are you? I'm doing fine, y'all. Good. So I feel like when you first came in the house, you were more quiet. But as you warmed up, you opened up a little bit more. You showed a different side of you. Like, um, I think it was the last episode. It kind of shocked me to see you really, you know, get out of character. But you pulled it back together quick. That's impressive. So my question to you is, how do you feel like the show helped you? Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I've been doing this little thing, so I'm not gonna fight. Mm -hmm. But you know, I'm going down there. I'm gonna see her in my fight. Mm -hmm. This is 2021, and I'm gonna fight. So you know, I'm trying to keep that going. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And honestly, I feel like the show to help me because. I don't hang around bitches. Honestly, I got like my one best friend, and we chill together every day. Right. So me being around a lot of females, it really just opened me up to something different. Honestly, because that's not that I'm that's not something I'm comfortable with at all. Okay. Truthfully, but I just feel like from this experience, I learned like it could have been worse. <laughs> it could have been worse. And, I mean, I feel like I learned a lot of shit being around a bunch of girls, being around y'all. I to take something from this. Are you gonna take more photos? <laughs> yes, I'm gonna take more photos. I just gotta get comfortable with the whole little walk in the shenanigans and all of that, honestly. <laughs> I love a good hood, bitch. That's what I like about you when I first met you. This whole raw, that's what I see. You ain't got no nails on. So this bitch ain't got no nails on. I could be friends with a little bit because you know how to fight. But I'm just very proud of you. You, were, you came into everything open. Like you were the least complainative, if that's even a word. When you got something, you was like, all right, let's just do it. You said your little words, but you conform to what you need to do to get it done. That's very admirable. All right, thank you. So from this, where are you going to go from? From here, I want to honestly just promote my business more on this side. I want to get more to the business side, really. And that's what I'm going for. <clears throat> it was boring. It was like watching paint dry. Like, you have to, your personality, even though you can be quiet, but it was very boring for me. Like, take class, dance, acting, something to bring up your personality, finally. Because that one works for me. It's like too closeted and it's very boring for me. But good luck. To perform at a high level, it got it's gonna take a lot of sacrifices. What type of sacrifices are you willing to make? Honestly, I wasn't to make any sacrifices. It's just to actually just be what I wanna be. Okay. Alright, thank you guys. Next, can I have Alicia come to the stage, please? Hey everyone, how are you? Hi, Alicia. Hi. Boy, we have had a time, boy, 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 we have had a time. So, how are you feeling? I'm blessed. Blessed. I feel blessed to still be here. You had been kicked off. You had came back. You had, ooh, had an attitude. You speak your mind. What do you feel like you took from this? Um, I have to really, I have to really be careful what I do in my life, because just as fast as it here, it could be getting taken away. So I gotta know that, and I gotta watch what I do, I gotta watch what I say, and I just have to watch, you know, the people around me, and 
you know, sometimes everybody that's around you, you know, you got to kind of like make sure that they good to be around because some people, they not and they don't want to help you grow. So I learned that too, you know, and I just learned how to take accountability for my actions. And I think speaking with you, you did take accountability after the fact. And I was so proud of that because at first it was kind of rocky. But once we had our conversation and you really let out how you was feeling, I feel like things have gotten better. Like I hadn't heard you complain about anything. And that's growth, especially for you because you've been complaining since day one. But I'm proud that you actually grew. Thank you. Thank you for having me and thank you for giving me the opportunity. Not one time, but the second time. Of course. <laughs> Next, can we have Nate come to the stage? How y'all doing? Hey. Girl, you look like a totally different person. How are you feeling? I feel fabulous. I like how I look. I just love it. I ain't never had makeup before, and this is like life changing for me. And I'm not trying to cry, y'all, so. <laughs> so. How do you feel like the show helped you? Well, y'all helped me build my confidence. I ain't have no confidence. I ain't like talking about it because all the drama, I'm not trying to do no drama because I know how I can get. Yeah, but y'all helped me build my confidence because I wouldn't be up here doing this talking to nobody. I'm like so proud of her because from the casting call till now, she has been so quiet. This is the most I've seen you speak. I agree. Let's give it a moment. Yeah. And you're standing up here like you're not covering your face. You're not holding your head down. You're standing up here proud. And I really admired it. Like you really changed. And I'm so proud of you. And you look so beautiful. Thank so you. beautiful. Thanks to y'all. Thank y'all so much. Honestly, when you walked in that room, getting ready to prep, I was blown away. Not even because you had your makeup done or because you even looked pretty. I feel, I think, feel like that you felt. It was a different. You felt it. Yes. Like you, I felt your presence when you walked. I was damn girl, hey, what's up? Right. And you know, you really came in exuberant, feeling yourself, and that in itself was a gift. Yes. So thank you. Yes. Thank, thank you. you. Yes. What type of things in life uh, cause you not to have so much confidence? Would you say? Well, all I've been talking about my whole life and in school, I was in fights. People always tell me I don't wear makeup, I'm ugly, I'm a tomboy. I just didn't have no confidence in myself. <laughs> okay, okay. It's okay, baby, it's okay. It's okay, mom, it's okay. But now I do, so y'all trying to make me cry. But now I do, and I love it. I just let his makeup and sleep in it. I ain't taking it off. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You're right here. You're so beautiful. Jonna, can you please come to the stage? Hey, babe. How you feeling? I'm doing all right. Huh? I'm doing all right. You doing all right? Mm -hmm. I saw you working out. You, you, you know, you was out there killing them. <laughs> what? You didn't feel like it was beneficial? It was beneficial, but baby, I was tired. I wasn't expecting it. But even though you was tired, you didn't quit. I didn't. So, do you feel like that you can use that in your everyday life? Yeah, I can. I used to work out a couple years ago, but I stopped. So. Not just working out, like not quitting when it gets oh, yeah. hard. Yeah, I can. What do you feel like you will take away from the house? Um. Cause I don't really have any you know, disagreements or anything with anybody, but um, really just stay in my place. Everybody should just really stay in their place and it wouldn't always be all that. So that's what I could take from Keep staying in my place. Okay, thank you. Baby, when you took that cap off your head and I walked in the house and you had your real hair out and your hat was off, shocked. Mm -hmm. Do this more. Mm -hmm. You feel it. This is you. I just don't like my real hair. It don't matter. You look good. Yeah. You look really good. Yeah. Please do this more. I feel like you feel more you, free, yourself, confident, loving, accepting, honorable like this. Do it more. Do it more. You're very peculiar. I 
I'm interested in you. Mm -hmm. I want to see you do more. You say you was a dancer, right? Mm -hmm. I need you to give me the give me that attitude. So if I was coming up there and say school, I need you to do it. I'm gonna do it. You know I am. I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna see that. I want you to bring it out. I feel like you're hiding something. I'm gonna see it. All right. Yeah. What's your um? What's your definition of bad? Uh, my definition of baddie um, is somebody that is very confident, um, that takes no for an answer, doesn't take no for an answer, and somebody that keeps going through anything. You think you're bad? Yeah, I am. I've been through a lot, and I keep going. You think you should win? I did a little 360. I think I should win, baby. <laughs> give her a round. Give her a hand. <laughs> No, no, can you come to the stage for me, please? Hey, everybody. Hey. Girl, you have shocked me. <laughs> you really have. Because you were quite like, when we did the first episode, you were sitting at the end of the table, kind of, I'm not going to lie, kind of missed because you wasn't saying anything. Like, yeah. you were more so reserved. I guess you were just looking, peeping, whatever the case may be. But as time went on and you started talking, I realized, girl, <laughs> you, 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 you that girl yeah. from the, yeah, from the class with Scooter. When you started walking, I'm not gonna lie, you blew me away because I wasn't expecting that from you. It's like, you have hidden talents that you don't show people. And the more we did this, the more I got to see the real you. So what do you feel like you took away from it? I mean, exactly what you said, I took everything from it, especially that class, it was my favorite. It felt like, like I said, I wanted to get more of myself out. And I felt like that class helped me do that, especially the confidence and all that. You definitely gave, Frankie. Girl, when you put that dress on, I thought that body, I was like, okay, bitch. Like, what's the, you want to fight? What's up? Like, but no, honestly, love everything. Like, your, I honestly saw your confidence grow the most. Because even seeing you, seeing you sit down at that end of that table, you had it on, you did everything, but it was just that one piece missing, and it was just you. And you are here, so yeah. thank you for that. Thank you for coming, showing the real you. Thank you. Um, you care about the opinions of others? Like, how much do you care about the opinions of other people? Oh, not zero fucks given about what about what nobody say. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> as long as what I think is what matters. Period. That's a good statement. Yeah, you walk. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna say this though before you leave. Um, you're really strong. Yeah, Thank definitely. You. Thank you. I love y'all. Yay! Yeah. Can we have Juju come to the stage, please? What do you feel like you learned from the show? So I learned to stay ready and be yourself. Don't ever switch up for anybody. And most importantly, just stay ready. <laughs> so you told me that you were a model. Do you feel like scooter class helped you reach that inner? Um, yeah, most definitely. Just like um, practicing my walk again. Um, showing you, like, look into your eyes and really showing you I can really change my face ex facial expressions just by looking at you. And I have to say, you really aced that. I was really surprised when, even though Frankie was missing with you, trying to throw you off, you did really good. Thank so you. I really, you did good. I like that. You was one of my favorites. Thank you. So, Juju, even though everything has been going on in the house and, you know, there's really a lot going on, how are you feeling like? How do you feel? Um, I feel good. Um, I stay to my I stay I was myself. I didn't switch up. Like I'm gonna always be myself and at the end of the day, like, I don't know, I feel good. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. You know, but what I will say it's is It's because like I don't know. Hold on, hold on, like, hold on. From the first day you was aggressive at the end of that table. And, and still today, you still that person. That's what I respect about you. You still hug. You never change, for real. Thank you. 
You're right, Frilly. She was aggressive at the end of that table. She was expressive, not aggressive. Because this is ghetto. Because I told y'all, I'm like, you know, I'm my elephant. So when I do, I'm just like, I why? Yeah. Ask yourself that. Don't ask us. Exactly. I saw him being like trying to like, I just don't like getting taken out of my element. Yeah, I was just about to ask, what, what you think your weakness is? You don't know? No. It's okay, we'll figure it out. All right, that was a tricky question. Thank you. What? Oh, I You can't stand that. behind what you see. My attitude, baby. Oh. That's, probably attitude. The, that's probably the worst. Okay, thank you, Juju. Thank you. for me, please. Okay, ladies, you guys all did wonderful. It was a pleasure being with all of you guys in the house, but it's that time where I have to choose one person that won. I think we have came to a decision and the two that we've chosen. So I couldn't choose one girl, so I had to choose two. And we, it was so hard because each girl I felt like grew. Is Le Portier and Nay. La Porsche, I felt like she held so much in to the point where she felt like she was about to break. And for her to open up to me the night at the fireplace, I felt like that was really deep. And I was so proud of her for that. Nay, I'm so proud of you and your growth. I'm so happy that you decided to do things that you've never done before, stepped out of your comfort zone, actually participated in the activities without complaining. That was amazing. But guys, you know it can only be one baddie. I'm emotional, so um, yeah, y'all know when God, when people say that when you're trying to do something positive in your life, something negative is always trying to knock you down. From the day that I came, my boss was giving me a hard time. I did an open door policy. They brought my check down all the way down. So it's just like. It was just, kept on saying, no, you can't do it, you can't do it. But since I talked to you, it's like, I'm just gonna do this off no policy, no matter what. Because you told me you gotta be confident, you gotta stand on what you mean. At the end of the day, even though the job is paying you, you still got a right to open up and speak your mind. I had the job doing it. I had close friends trying to tell me, don't go, they gonna be fighting. You know you can't handle all that. You know you're not used to being around a lot of girls. You, but you in my head, God in my head, everything that's in my head is just going back and forth. And so right now me standing saying that I had this opportunity. I can go tell them, look at me now. So I'm, I feel like I was But guys, you know it can only be one baddie. So let me ask um, Portia, right? Yes. Why do you think you should win uh, this challenge? I think I should win because from the day forward, I didn't think, I didn't have the confidence. When I came, I seen all the girls dressed up. I didn't come with my hair done. I had a ponytail, I had a sundress on. I just left from fighting, trying to get my daughter to her dance. Studio. I didn't have no idea what, how I was gonna do it. I seen them and I didn't judge nobody. I didn't. It's just that 
I didn't feel in myself that I could have did and that I would be picked because she's beautiful. She, she got a lot going for herself and I seen everything else. I'm like, how can I sit up here and do this and I'm not looking like this? I don't have this confidence. I don't do that. I came and then the other day, uh, the other day when we did the throw in a fire, nobody else would never got it out of me. I don't know how she got it out of me. So with that being said, I just thought I should win because man, I got a story to tell. Them. And it's real. It's not no play. It ain't no fatigue. This is real. This is my life. So that's why I just feel like I should win. Not now. And became the baddest and feel like I got that confidence now. Why do you feel like you should win? Well, I think that I changed the most because I would not be on the stage like I said. I don't talk, but I'm on the stage and I build my confidence up. I feel pretty. Like I said, um, I do it. I'm doing this for my kids because I didn't think I could do it, but I, I'm, I'm doing it. We have, we have to pick one person. And we all thought that these two ladies stood out the most. But there can only be one baddie. Okay, are you guys ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Shout out to Portia, you guys. I want to thank all you ladies for coming. I hope you guys took something from this. I hope you guys learned something. And I just want to thank you guys. It was a pleasure being with you guys. I had fun in the house with you guys. You guys are amazing. All of you guys grew. I see a difference in all of y'all from the first time I met y'all at the casting call. All of y'all have grew. But unfortunately, it can only be one. So congratulations, LaPorsche. And I want to say, um, it really was no losers, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, where, where Ebony at? Shout out to Ebony, the president of Nib. Give her a hand. But be as the CEO, her, the president, we're going to be watching all y'all, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, whoever turned up the most at the end of the day, you know, we're going to consider to give y'all a deal. You know what I mean? So. Everybody looked great, everybody got great energy, but just continue to perfect, you know what I'm saying, what your weaknesses is, and enhance your strengths, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, one more time for the poor show. I also want to say thank you, ladies. Even though I was quiet, I was just trying to keep everybody uplifted, which I gave my word that I was going to try to do that, and I hope I did. And y'all are really good. Congratulations, mommy. You deserve it. All right, guys. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you for watching season one of Basic to Baddies. Give the girls a round of applause. Bye. Y'all know y'all want to hear me back. Y'all heard what Scooter said. I'm full of surprise. Y'all heard him. I want everything for you. Like every every dream you got, I want to come true because you gave me an opportunity and I respect that. And you couldn't let my ass get back on that flight, but you did. So I fuck with Jania. I fuck with this show. I fuck with her team. I fuck with all y'all. I fuck with it. I ain't gonna lie. And I want y'all to bring me back on for another episode because I still got more shit to do and I got more shit to say. This was just a warm up. You know, I'm, I'm pretty happy. Like I'm really happy for them and definitely happy for the winner also. But yeah, she need to bring me back. I had the confidence. I was lit. I was vibing with everybody. Everybody loved me that was there, other than Africa and Lord Farquaad, but they don't even matter, so. So basically I learned that it wasn't really too much I had to work on. It was just that one thing that was holding me back. And I'm finally realizing that Bitch, you can do whatever the fuck you want to do. So I'm grateful for the opportunity and glad that I did this shit. I met a bunch of females that I could really be cool with outside the show, honestly. And I don't really like too many females. But shit, next season, hey, y'all put me on next season. We're going to see what it's hitting for, for real. Because you know, season two bitches be trying to come with that bullshit. I'm going to go to the store and give me some makeup. You feel me? Go watch YouTube videos, start doing my own makeup. 
give me a, a fitness trainer because yeah, I need to start getting in shape because I'm gonna be a baddie just like everybody else. From there to now, I transfer from basic to baddie. Porsche slash Sally. As long as they going back home and feeling it, that's all that matters. But catch you on next time from basic to best we can.